guess where I went. Oh, I can't show you. I went to Aldi. Woo! Comment hashtag Amy went to Aldi. And um, I'm going to show you what I got. Oh, my dog heard me. Okay, so we got it all turned around. Y'all ready? I got to go fast because I have a one-on-one -on -one call in like 15 minutes. Okay, first of all, I got some unsweetened almond milk. Oh, that's so fun, right? All right, next. I got these really cute Pinkaboo Pine Berries. I'm a sucker for weird fruit, so I had to get it. Very excited. That's not something I would buy all the time. This is super fresh. Little pack of berries. Um, and another thing I wouldn't get all the time, but I thought it was cute. So I grabbed them. They won't, they won't go bad, you know what I'm saying? I did get some blackberries because I was out. Um, I got this little pack of squash. And I got this little pack of zucchini because I needed it. Okay, that's all that was in there. Um, I got these eggs because I was out and I needed some. I guess I don't need to tell y'all why. I mean, I guess y'all really don't care, but it is what it is. I, I like Aldi. I've been before. I went to one um, this summer, so I kind of knew what to expect. But then at the same time, you never know what they'll have. Okay, so then I got this Happy Farms Creamy Garlic and Herb, and as far as I can tell... This is super comparable to the Laughing Cow. So, I got the creamy garlic and herb because the plain, I have like four packs because I got a big old thing at the Sam's not too long ago. Or maybe that was Costco. It doesn't matter. I also got some apples. Yes, I did. That kind of goes over there. Um, I'm so excited. So, now I don't have to say the bread that I normally buy is not on plan, not on plan, not on plan to use it personal choice. Now I can say, this is 100% on plan, knock your sprouts off bread from Aldi. Woo! <laughs> so excited about that. And yes, I got two. These containers were on clearance. They were like 75 cents. These Christmas, little Christmas containers. These are 100% on plan. Little containers. 100% on plan. <laughs> I have some jokes for y'all. I know you're excited. So those are cute. I was excited to find those. Okay. I got some bananas. I got some avocados. These are mini avocados. Love those. So cute. I got some golden raisins. So if y'all remember, I just um, organized my pantry. And the raisins that I had, the golden raisins that I had, were from when Trim Healthy Feature came out a couple years ago. And was that two years ago now? or one year ago, it doesn't matter. They were old and I'm just really like needing to get new ones. So I threw those out and now I have new golden raisins and I have Auntie Pearl's muffins on my heart. And so I'll be making those soon. That's in Trim Healthy Future, Auntie Pearl's muffins. They use golden raisins. That's what I was talking about. For anybody that was not sure what I said. I got an Aldi bag because you have to have a bag and a quarter to shop at the Aldi. I mean, you don't have to, but I do because I buy a bunch of stuff. All right, let's see what else I have in this thing. I'm saving the non-food things for later. Um, that's not on plan, I don't think. It's beef jerky for West Gaskin. It's not on plan. This is a crossover <coughs> popcorn. Um, this is organic non-GMO popcorn, organic extra virgin coconut oil, and Himalayan salt crossover. It is six grams of fat for three cups. And 10 grams of carb. I'm still calling that an E. Okay. I mean, excuse me. I'm calling that a crossover. <laughs> Maybe I need some more carbs. I can think straight. Okay. I got several kinds of pasta. So, let me see. Let me just get all this stuff out. Oh, there you go. Boop, boop, boop. The second bag I got. All right. Pasta. This is um, Live G Free, gluten free, organic brown rice and quinoa penne. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so that's exciting. Can y'all see that? All right, cool. That'll be an E. Cool. I also got organic, simply nature, non GMO edamame spaghetti um, noodles. Another carb source there for your E meal. Yes, ma'am. Very excited about that. And then yellow lentil lasagna sheets, Simply Nature Organic Non-GMO, to make a lasagna maybe. I don't, I can't promise you how soon I'm going to use this, 
but I have it if I get a wild hair to do it. Never seen that before. All right. <clears throat> I also got these Snickerdoodle Keto Cookies. I got two bags of them. Let's talk about this. Benton's Keto Cookie Snickerdoodle. We have almond flour, erythritol, coconut oil, butter, cream milk salt, egg white, cinnamon, natural vanilla flavor, collagen, baking soda, xanthan gum, sea salt, and stevia. Guess what it doesn't have? Inulin or chicory root fiber. Those two things are on plan, but they cause the tootie toot toots. And I don't like having the tootie toot toots. So I'm very excited to have these. And this would be an on plan S. And it says seven cookies. So one day when I have an S meal, I can have up to seven cookies for my dessert. And I didn't have to make it. And it won't give me the tootie toot toots. So I'm thrilled. <laughs> the chocolate chip ones, they had chocolate chip too there. But they had inulin, so I left them. I left those for that for other people. Uh, I also got Mazer Roth. How do you say it? I don't know. I probably didn't do it right. I don't really care. I called Tahin Tajin for a long time until a blessed soul was so kind to tell me I was saying it wrong. <laughs> Bless. Sorry. I just don't know things all the time. So this is 85% um, dark cocoa. So I've not tried this before, so stay tuned for that. And I'm not going to try it right now. I'm sorry. I don't have time for that. I got two cases of sparkling water. I know y'all are so shocked that I did that. <gasps> Boom. So this is lime, 100% um, on plan, sparkling water, sodium-free, calorie-free, sugar-free. It is just, you know, free of all the things. It's. I hope it has a lot of flavor, though. If it doesn't, that's okay, too. And I got two cases of my favorite LaCroix, limoncello, baby. So delicious. So, so good. And I'm excited to have that. Okay, now let's talk about this. This is a stainless steel frothing pitcher, so you can use this to heat your milk um, for your lattes, and um, that's super great, so I'm excited. I have one of these with a long handle. I can't find it anywhere. Hi, hey, Liz. Um, so anyway, I bought this today, and it was exciting to have. I also got some on-plan scissors for all of my on-plan needs in and out of the kitchen, so I'm very excited to have those. It was like four bucks for these, and we're always needing scissors. Where are my scissors? I don't know. Well, guess what? We have some now that will stay in the kitchen, and they're on-plan. I'm so excited about that. Well, I also have an on-plan candle holder to put in my Trim Healthy kitchen. Actually, that's a lie. This isn't for me. Lily wanted this, so she's going to put it in her bedroom. So my, my Trim Healthy teen is going to have this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to make some jokes. I have to keep things fun. This, I've never had one of these. I don't know how I've gone my whole life without one of these. A silicone baking mat. Have y'all ever? i got five minutes. I'm <laughs> making y'all up. I'm fixing to use my teeth tape in this package. Don't, don't, don't get upset. All right, all right. Phew. I want to look at it. I just don't know that it's big enough. It might be. It might prove me wrong. It might prove me all kinds of wrong. Bless America. They got this thing. Oh, it has a little pulley. Okay, if you get this, <laughs> it's supposed to, there it goes. <laughs> Woo! I might have to make some on-plan cookies on this little I thought it would have little circles for me to put my cookies. That's okay, though. That's neat. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Put that in your pan so it doesn't get sticky sticky. You love your silicone mats. I don't know that I've ever seen any. Do they, does Pampered Chef sell them? I don't know. <gasps> Is Brittany's mom here? Hey, Brittany's mom. Hello. What was that I thought her name was? No, I can't remember. I also got my mom a present. She loves gnomes. <laughs> If she sees this, um, that's okay. But I got this for her for Valentine's Day. It's so cute. <laughs> Did I get anything else? I don't think so. Um, I accidentally posted on my personal page my picture. So I might share that later with you all. But um, one of my clients had her appointment at 115 with me. And I said, look, I have this break. Do you want to have our one-on-one -on -one call at Aldi? And she was like, yes, I will meet you there. <laughs> and so we went and we, went, we had fun. Um, my, my middle daughter, Lily, went with me, and so we shopped, like, the inside aisles, and I saved the outer aisles to to do with Ashley, and then we did go some, um, I think you called me Diane. Debbie? I think it was Debbie, Karen. I think I called you Debbie. Debbie or Diane, it doesn't matter, but yes, I know who you are now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we had a good time. We had a really good time, but I hope y'all enjoyed this. That was fun. 
That's all I got. I was really impressed. They have the nitrate, nitrite free and uncured um, deli meat. I was very impressed with that. They did have some keto ice cream, but I believe that it had soluble corn fiber, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really want to do that. I don't, I don't need that anyway. I'm good. Um, I like to buy the, the Rebel ice cream when I need ice cream, and I don't need any right now. I'm totally fine with that. And what were some other things that they had? They had like um, their off-brand Parmesan um, move into the sip and becoming a one-on-one -on -one client. <laughs> yes! I would love for you to. Come on, Liz. It's warmer here for sure. It's hot. It's like 70 something right now. But anyway, they had a lot of cool things and I'm really excited to have that. <coughs> I need something to drink. Bye y'all. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.